we got a draft created through an AI agent. Let's learn how to create AI agents that require no code and can do anything we ever wanted on the internet. Welcome back, y'all. Today's video, we're gonna be creating an AI agent. Don't worry, it's not gonna require any code. I will be making another video that shows you how to do this with just raw code, but that's a whole separate video. This video, I wanna show you how to do it with no code, show you how I can access any action within the entire internet, and on top of that, how do we let these AI agents do the work for us when we're just asleep? Sound good? Let's jump in. So right off the bat, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description down below. It's free to start. They're called Zapier Agents. What Zapier Agents allow us to do is access over 7,000 different applications found on the internet, which means in this context, it allows AI to do actions on our behalf across the board, whether that is creating new rows within Google Sheets with data, sending emails on our behalf, specific workflows when it comes to Notion. I'll also make sure to leave this in the description down below so you can see all the capabilities that we'll have functionally with a Zapier agent. So to best showcase this, I'm gonna show you two different ways we can leverage AI agents. First one being, actual applicability within a business. And then the second one will be a schedule basis where we can have the AI agent do any type of task at any time without our input. Therefore, for whatever you wanna do, you're gonna typically hit create custom agent, but the steps and workflow I'm gonna show you, you can apply. So we'll do the support email agent for the first example here. I'm gonna say use this template. So here's what's cool once we set up this agent and it's live. Anytime I receive an email to my business, this will automatically reply if a draft if it's a customer oriented email. So let's do it. First thing we wanna do is make sure you connect your Gmail. So for me, I'm gonna do my contact email. We're gonna hit save here. So far so good. That's essentially what's gonna get the AI agent to start working. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is provide data so that when it does answer the emails with a draft, it's actually accurate. So we got some suggestions here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna provide some data of a PDF for it to analyze. Therefore, to provide this data, we need to give context on the business itself and how to answer questions. So a really great example of this could be using an FAQ section. This right here is just bump ups. You can chat with any video, local or on YouTube. You can actually chat with this video right here if you get stuck, link down below, provide the YouTube link, start chatting. I'm gonna scroll down here though. We got a nice little FAQ section here. Obviously we could go a little bit further here, provide more data, but for now I'm just gonna open every single one of these and I'm just gonna do a simple copy. Just opened up a Google doc here, I'll paste. Yes, it doesn't look beautiful. The formatting is not amazing, but that doesn't matter when it comes to AI. You'll be able to internalize all this information regardless. So for me, I'm just gonna file export this as a PDF. In theory, we can actually keep this as a Google Doc. If for example, we did a Google Doc here, we can in theory just update it live and then it would always have a live data source to reference. Therefore, to have a live data source we can reference always because end of the day, as a business, things are constantly changing. We'll go ahead and instead connect our Google Doc, but as you can clearly see, there's a ton of different stuff we can connect here. Make sure you choose your correct Google account. So for me, when I connect to my account, it's gonna be Google Doc 2 and then the file name. So bump ups FAQ, add data source. So that's set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this section here as it is requesting here. We're gonna go ahead and move up all these instructions. So far, so good. So let's go ahead and read these instructions and then you can apply this kind of logic to whatever workflow you wanna do with an AI agent. When I get a new email, look at the contents and determine if it's a question from a customer. If it's a customer question, look up the answer in and then we're gonna provide our data source here. I'll go ahead and just move this down here. I'll reference the doc here as well, bump ups FAQ. If you find an answer to the question there, we're gonna create a draft reply. This is so it doesn't automatically send a customer email. Make sure to click that as anytime it does an action outside of just the chat itself or within the ecosystem of Zapier, it's gonna require your input. So for example, let the agent find a specific thread, let the agent create the body value to the CC. This is a ton of information that if you chose to make something fixed, you can. So for example, like label on your inbox, we could set this to a very specific value, like, like any label we've already created within our Gmail. So for example, we could put important. I can make a whole separate tag here that says chatbot, et cetera. For now though, I'm gonna let AI just handle it all. But what's cool is that we do have discretion on whether or not we want to add very fixed variables here. Save. Now, when working with AI agents, you really have to narrow down how it approaches a problem. So that's why we add stuff like important. Do not attempt to answer the question if you do not have a good answer because we don't want it to hallucinate and just make up stuff. Here's 101 on instructions and when working with AI agents. I want you to approach this step right here as if you're treating it like we're training a human to do it. Therefore, treat the AI agent like an employee in your company. If you wanted to give that employee a standard operating procedure, what's step one? What's step two? What's step three? 
all the way to end conversion event of what you care about. So for this, the end conversion event would be a draft reply to a customer email. Don't leave room for ambiguousness or unclearness when dealing with AI agents because it will assume stuff that you may not want it to assume. This comes with time, this comes with practicing, this comes with testing. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and check out an example here. From Bubbles here, let's just provide a question from our FAQ here and see if our agent can actually reference that data source. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna ask the question, is bump ups free to use? And the correct answer is yes, we provide a free 60 minutes so you can just see if you even like the platform. So for testing, send yourself a dummy email here. So for example, is bump ups free to use? And then if I come over here and hit test behavior, let's see if it works. What we should see here is one, it knows it can respond to this and do a draft because that is relevant with the FAQ data that we provided. Pretty cool to see it live, right? I'll check the bump ups FAQ to find information about bump ups pricing and whether it's free to use. And it will show you the workflow live here. Now, the whole point of an AI agent though is for it to work autonomously. So in theory, we wouldn't really see this if we were like cooking a steak. And then an hour later, we're like, oh wait, our AI agent did something an hour ago. What is it? And they did this. So coming back over to the inbox here, if I go to drafts, what you'll notice is that there we go. We got a draft created through an AI agent. Hello, thank you for reaching out. Yes, Bump Ups is free to use. You get 60 minutes free processing, no credit card required to start. Simply create an account to begin using all features. If you need more video processing hours, you can always upgrade your plan. Notice that it stays right on par with our FAQ doc. And in addition, any type of response here or the way it's structured, for example, the best regards web cafe AI, we could put in the instructions, always sign off as best regards XYZ, best regards Corbin Brown, et cetera. So once we're good and that's ready to go, we can simply turn it on and then it's just live. We have a AI agent going. Just a real quick shout out. If you wanna see how to set up an AI agent that is focused on web scraping, e.g. we provide any type of website link and it gets all the data associated with that, description down below, card right there. I did a whole video dedicated to this topic. Let's find out though how we create an AI agent that allows itself to fire off at a certain time. So I'm gonna name this AI agent stock news. What we're gonna do here is gonna say start from scratch. Name of the game here is that we need to configure our AI agent and we're gonna add a behavior. So we're gonna create a behavior. The trigger of our AI agent is going to be what we call a scheduler. This is really nice and you can use this in any context, right? So we can do every day, every hour, every month. Let's assume that we're doing this every day and we wanna do this at market close. So we'll come down here to 3 p.m. as I am CST and we'll hit save. From here, we can provide relevant instructions of what to do next. So an action I wanted to take is to get the most recent news found here, take action, and we're gonna do a RSS feed, create item in feed. If you don't know an RSS feed, this allows us to listen to other websites when new data appears. And obviously the new data we care about is gonna be relevant to the stock market here. So let's provide the correct feed URL. Simply put in whatever you care about, for example, stocks RSS feed. We can do like RSS feed from Market Watch here. We can do top stories. And then all you gotta do is come up here to the top link here and copy. Feed URL, we're gonna paste it here. Everything else can just be relevant to what the AI wants, that's fine. So we'll say, based on the stop story, please give me the stock ticker and a short summary sent to my email. Add some clarification. If no stock is mentioned, just give a short summary. This is very much up to your discretion. That's why this is plug and play and you can just kind of type whatever you want. You can get very, very granular with the steps here, but for now we're gonna say sent by my email. Take another action. Anytime you want to do something outside the ecosystem of Zapier, we're going to be taking actions here. Uh, we have a couple of different options here. We're going to do Gmail or email by Zapier. We're going to do Gmail. We're going to do send email. And then the Gmail account will just be our contact again. We're going to make sure we're doing it to ourselves. So we're going to set a specific value here of myself. And then let's just let the AI agent come up with all the rest of the variables here when it's safe. Very simple, very easy. Now we know how to proceed in a scheduled manner. Save instructions and test. So in testing, sometimes it'll prompt you to ask whether the data it's dealing with looks good. For now, I'm gonna hit approve. This kind of approve logic won't be necessary once we have it live, but because we're testing, we need to make sure everything looks good. I wanna also point out that because of the fact that this does have web scraping abilities, you don't necessarily need to use an RSS feed here. In theory, you could ask the agent itself to search the internet. With that simple setup though, here's the email I would receive. Top market news, Vertex Pharmaceuticals breakthrough. Nice little email from the AI. Here is the latest top story from MarketWatch. This news is significant as it highlights a major development in Vertex Pharmaceuticals provided the ticker, which could have substantial impact on the stock market. There we go. 
And then in theory, every single day at 4 p.m., it will give me the top breaking news that I care about. So that covers how to create AI agents in a no code way. I'll be creating another video here on this channel of how to do it in a code way. So make sure to subscribe here, be able to get insight on how to do this, but if you wanted to code it all out, which is a whole separate beast. So we'll jump into that. We need to jump into that. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. AI agent, two minute videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.